Hey, it's the Tall Boy Experience. My name is Corey Tall Boy Sanders, and I'm TQ, the Queen Brand. And we are here at the Global Forum put on by Operation Hope, and we're here to show you that you can be an entrepreneur. They're going to talk about job creation and economic growth. So, do you want to see this footage? Stay tuned because we're about to give it to you. This is a really rare opportunity to be at a place where people are thinking about the big picture. I go to a lot of conferences and most of the time they focus on, you know, it's business owners and entrepreneurs focused on survival, making it till Friday or making it till next month, uh, hitting a payroll. Uh, this is a great opportunity to take a step back and look at uh, bigger trends, bigger uh, challenges. The Tall Boy Experience. If there was one takeaway for a small business owner, what would that be sure. from your perspective? I, I would say uh, be afraid not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say be afraid not to be afraid, in other words, um, you know, if you think about what it means to be afraid, people say, well, I don't want to do this. I'm afraid to take this opportunity. You should think about would you rather not take on that opportunity or would you rather stay where you are? So when you think about be afraid not to be afraid, just think about it. I'm not going to be afraid to sit back and think about, I can do that, I can start this business, and I can I can actually make change in, in my environment, um, but the question is, how? And so that's what we're doing here today, is showing you how to do that, how to get connected, how to be more aggressive and appropriate about what you want to do to make changes, not in your family, in your lives, but other people's lives, and we have to be intentional about that. Very intentional, I yes. love that. Yes. Using kinetic energy and transferring that fear into something that catapults you to the next Absolutely. level. Absolutely. Taking that same uh, platform, I know that it was a big emphasis on technology here at this event. How would you suggest to a small business owner to utilize their digital presence yes. to increase their impact? Certainly. I would say first of all, uh, taking advantage of our social media opportunities right now because you know, you know how much they cost. They cost nothing right now, literally, uh, other than someone to man uh, a social media outlet for you. And you can do that by yourself. And so when you have a chance to market, you talking about free marketing? Um, or marketing that's already paid for, if you already paid for it through your taxes, take advantage of it. But make sure you do it the right way. Make sure that you're being intentional, but also you're being very respectful, not just of yourself, but what you're actually putting out into the universe. Because one thing we do know is that once you put it out on, on the internet, it stays there. Absolutely. It's not going anywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Entrepreneurship is the life of this country. Bottom line, everyone here has a talent. Who's in IT? Who's in legal services? Who's in manufacturing? All right, all right, it's a healthcare. We have so many different people here. Uh, who's a small business owner? All right. So, yeah, and, uh, the bottom line is that everyone has a talent. And what you want to continue to do is to follow your passion into a place uh, where we can help you to realize those dreams. I have to say, the athletes are great, but the most important one for me today is being also a board member with Operation Hope uh, for uh, this whole forum. And to really talk about the 4,000 people who are here over the last uh, last couple of days, over 60 countries being represented. And so the question is, is very key. We all have the same issues. We all have the same challenges. We need access to capital, right? We need to learn how to spend the money. We need to know, need to know where to spend the money. We need to also know what institutions and organizations can help to guide us so we're not out of business in the next five years. It's something to to do uh, very cautiously. I think there are, there are too many voices out there who tell you that if you're passionate, you can make it work. But a lot of people who are passionate go out of business. It, it takes more than passion. The great thing is, there's never been a better time to start a business. There are things you can do today to test a business that uh, were impossible. 5, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, you don't necessarily have to quit your day job before you figure out whether your product or service is something that people will actually pay money for. And, you know, the, obviously that's largely because of social media. But uh, I would say be cautious. Uh, by all means, pursue it. But uh, per pursue it cautiously and make sure that you are ready to take that leap before you quit the day job. When the topic is scaling up, we in the media tend to focus way too much on venture capital and for most people I think venture capital is a terrible mistake. You know, you go into business to be your own boss and then you sell yep. business to a venture capitalist and you're no longer your own boss. Um, it's 
It's right for some people, certain businesses, but it's wrong for most people. It's, it's, it's a broken model that was set up by venture capitalists to benefit venture capitalists, it's not entrepreneurs. And I think it's, it's really important to understand that if you're not in the game looking for venture capital, that doesn't mean you're failing. Uh, at Forbes, we started something, the uh, last three years, we've been selecting 25 Forbes small giants every year. And uh, one message I'd like to deliver, th these are the happiest business owners I ever meet. These are people who have decided they'd rather run a great business than necessarily a big business. They do want to grow, they do want to scale up, but not at all costs. And uh, I think it's a really important message to know that that's, that's a, a, a viable alternative. Uh, despite what you hear from people like me in the media, venture capital is not the only way to go. Can you talk about any tips that you could give to another small business owner of how to break that barrier of doing business with some of our bigger brand organizations like your Targets or Walmarts or Whole Foods? I think the key, people ask me this all the time, the key is really to find something that you're passionate about. I'll give you an example. I heard somebody talked about this and it just went into my heart, like that there is a little six inch there is a little six inch wood that somebody put on the floor mm -hmm. and say step over they'll give you twenty dollars and you could easily walk over if they take that same flat wood and put in between two buildings that's high up in the air and ask you to walk for twenty dollars you would say hell no when they put your child on the other side of that you would you would not only walk you would sprint over that's how i think people should always look at business look for something that you would walk the end of the earth for because owning your own business is hard work yes it it's it's not for the faint of heart no. but if you feel strongly if you feel passionate about it you are going to you can't fail that's my experience because i feel so strongly that every child in this country that we are in should eat food that's made from scratch, is made using fresh, wholesome ingredients. That's my belief. Absolutely. Whatever it is that you want to launch is scalable. Because just the fact that we're passionate about something and we need it doesn't mean that anybody else is going to need it. So you have to first define if your idea is something that can grow and you can scale. That's number one. For, for me, because I had a, an actual product, when I first did my business plan test to the SBA, because I didn't even know what that was, but when I did my business plan, I figured out I needed $250,000. When I start with an expert, for me to scale my business, I needed seven million. So when you want to scale your business, whatever number that you have, just double it. It takes money. So it took seven million dollars to get my product into Target, to get where it is. And it wasn't overnight, but not every idea is scalable. Figure out how and why and who in your community or beyond your community is going to be in need of that service. That's the easiest way to see how you can scale. Did you like the video? That's right. Did you like Think it? Big. Hit Think that tall. like button. Think Subscribe. Tall and share boy. It. Yay! Tall boy. Tall boy.